All right, hello folks, um, and this is part one to worksheet two, which deals with reading a phylogeny. Okay, so um, question one deals with align the following sequences circling the base pairs that are informative. Um, so just a quick review, base pairs, um, those are going to be um, the basically the uh, the backbones of DNA. So adenine pairs with thymine, cytosine pairs with guanine. Um, and so these letters, C, 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 T, A, G, G, those are all representative of the base pairs of DNA. Um, if you have any confusion about that, I have a video um, from last semester on DNA replication and kind of the structure of DNA. Um, and all about transcription and translation. Um, so if you are confused uh, kind of about this whole base pair system, uh, you are welcome to watch that and kind of skip through it. Um, and so um, basically this question is just asking us to identify um, any uh, differences in base pairs. So if we look at um, uh, kind of the sequence uh, A versus the sequence B, we notice that sequence A is a little longer. And um, what we can assume is if sequence A is longer, there's going to be more letters in there, meaning that um, some, some mutations were probably added, um, probably an addition mutation. Um, and so, um, if we see in sequence A, we can see that indeed some letters were um, added. And it looks like there was a, um, a substitution mutation in um, B, in sequence B. Um, and so it looks like there's two different types of mutations, um, substitution and frame shift. So frame shift is when a uh, particular base pair is added, shifting the whole reading frame. And so that's why uh, sequence A is going to be longer than sequence B, is because we have those extra letters added in there. Okay, so moving on to question two. Explain why the following statement is false. Humans evolved from chimpanzees. So if we uh, look at a phylogenetic tree that contains humans and chimpanzees, it's going to look like this, with humans up here and chimpanzees here, meaning that they're six sister taxa. So they have a lot of similar traits in common, but they did not necessarily evolve from one another. They evolved from some kind of common ancestor. So figure this is the common ancestor, it branches off, and then we have our sister taxa. So humans didn't come from chimpanzees, but rather they share a, a common ancestor where they both came from. Okay, moving on to um, question three. Three species of salamander, Pseudotriton rubere, Odipina nica, and Bolitoglossa sombra all belong to the order Caudata. Um, the way that I remember the Linnaean classification system, it goes domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species, or dumb kids playing catch on freeways go splat. So that's how uh, I personally remember it. It's a good way um, to remember it. Um, and the order with domain being the broadest, species being the most specific. Now that we've gotten that out of the way. Uh, part A, from that information alone, can you say that all of the species also belong to the same family? So um, after doing some research on these three particular salamanders, they do happen to be in the uh, same family. However, this is not necessarily the the case with all species. So um, since family is more specific than order, we can't necessarily say that uh, just because they are in the same order, they're in the same family because family is more specific than order. It's that 
higher level of specificity. Um, and so these three salamanders happen to be in the same family, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to be in the same family due to being in the same order. Um, okay, so part B, can you say that all the species belong to the same class? Um, yes, because if we look at our uh, Linnaean uh, kind of order of classification, class um, comes before order. And so we can say that yes, they all uh, um, belong to the same class. And then um, part C asks, what genera do these species belong to? So you can always find out the genus by looking at the first part of the binomial system, right? So um, Pseudotriton, Otopina, Botoglossa, because those are the first part of the uh, binomial uh, naming system. Um, and so the genera, Pseudotriton, Otopina, Botoglossa. Question four, on the phylogenies below, define a monophyletic, paraphyletic, and polyphyletic group by circling all the indicated branches and tips. Okay, so a monophyletic group is going to include a um, group including its common ancestor. Um, so a whole kind of chunk including its common ancestor. A paraphyletic group is going to contain the common ancestor but not everything that branches off. So you can have a paraphyletic group that contains the common ancestor and part of that group but not necessarily everything that stems from that common ancestor. Polyphyletic is super random so it doesn't necessarily even include um, the common ancestor, it's just part of the chunk, basically. So uh, polyphyletic is just kind of circling these random groups. Um, okay, so part five. Look at the phylogeny of elephants, mammoths, mastodons, sirens, hyraxes. According to this phylogeny cladogram, circle the following statements that are true. Okay. So if we're looking at this phylogeny, my trick with phylogenies or phylogenetic trees, start from the taxa and then work your way back. So in other words, start from the list of all the species, Asian elephants, mammoth, African elephants, mastodon, sirenian, hyrax, um, other afrotheria, and circle all the common ancestors because then you can see what's kind of connected to what, and then you can work your way kind of um, from uh, right to left, as opposed to left to right, because that can get a little bit confusing. Um, and so if we're looking at this picture, question A states, sirens are more closely related to elephants than hyraxes are. Okay. Well, if we are looking at um, kind of our common ancestry here, hyrax and elephants are going to uh, share a common ancestor pretty far back. But then when we compare, um, sirens to hyraxes, they share a common ancestor. And so, if we're looking at this, sirens are honestly more closely related to hyraxes than they are to elephants. So we can state that question A is not true because of this common ancestry. Question B states, mastodons are more closely related to elephants than hyraxes are. So, um, are more closely related to hyraxes than they are to Asian elephants. Okay, so again, let's find our common ancestry. Mastodons and hyraxes. So, mastodons 
share a pretty close common ancestor with Asian elephants, um, but when we look at mastodons and hyraxes, their common ancestor is very far back. Um, and so we can state that question B is not true um, because mastodons are more closely related to Asian elephants due to common ancestry than they are to um, than, than they are to the hyraxes. Question C. The Asian elephant, mammoth, African elephant, and its ancestors, going back to their most recent common ancestor, make up a monophyletic clade. So yes, this would be the case because um, if we remember our definition of a monophyletic clade, um, that's going to include the whole group and common ancestry. So if we're looking at, um, if we're looking at um, the Asian elephant, mammoth, African elephant, they all share a common ancestor and they make up um, a clade. And so that is going to be a monophyletic clade. So that is true. Um, question D asks, Asian elephants evolved from mammoths. Again, we can automatically eliminate anything that says anything evolved from anything because this is just not going to be true. Um, in fact, Asian elephants, if we look at this, they are sister taxa. So um, similar to the humans and chimpanzees question, um, they do not evolve from one another. They evolved from a common ancestor and they have a lot of traits in common, but um, Asian elephants didn't necessarily come from mammoths. Okay, so we can eliminate D. Um, question E states, African elephants are the closest living relative of the Asian elephant. Okay, so mammoths, if we're looking at this whole clade here, African, this clade is composed of mammoths, Asian elephants, and African elephants. Mammoths are gone, they're extinct, so we can eliminate those. That leaves us with Asian elephants and African elephants. And the question asks, if African elephants are the closest related rel living relative um, of the Asian elephant, and since they're sister, sister taxa, we can say yes, because they share that recent common ancestor um, that we circled. Um, and so um, that is questions um, one through five, and I will be making another video um, for questions um, six through um, six and seven. Okay, so stay tuned for those. Um, and stay safe and stay healthy, folks.